Hi, you two. Thanks for tuning in for my quick review of The Girls in the Pictures by Melanie Benjamin. Um, this is actually a fictionalized account of a real friendship between Mary Pickford and her best friend, Frances Marin. Um, Mary Pickford was actually America's first sweetheart. A really savvy businesswoman. She was actually the highest paid woman in the world for a while. Um, I think in the 19 teens at some point. Um, Frances Marin is a little lesser known. If I wasn't saying her last name right, actually. But she is actually um, a screenwriter, a female director, which did happen more in the 20s um, before something changed after the Depression. Um, I've read a lot of classic film biographies, and they do mention her in that. And she was actually a war correspondent during World War One, which was very shocking for a woman to, to go into that field, which was really cool. And they just had an epic friendship. I actually read Mary Pickford's biography a couple years ago. I just happened to pick it up at the library, and I just remember thinking, how have I never heard of this celebrity, this person, this Outstanding woman who actually started the company United Artists with W. Dean Griffith, Charlie Chaplin, and her husband Douglas Fairbanks to try to give artists their own, like, more control of their own productions and take care of their interests better than the studios would. I mean, it's still no, very well known today. Um, she was America's first sweetheart and she really set the stage. She really helped make pictures what they are today. Um, people used to laugh at her because she went from the stage actress to into the talkies, they said, and they looked down at her for that. But quickly, Hollywood really took over and, oh, wow, you're in the, I went from making fun of people in movies to, wow, you're in the pictures, you're a star, you're, you really made it big time. Um, but, that, okay, so that's the history of their friendship and who they were as people. But the book... I actually read. Um, it's pretty good. I can see why it was a bestseller. I actually came upon it at the airport one day and I said, okay, I immediately went to Goodreads. was like, TBR, gotta read this later. Gonna check this out from the library because I got no money right now. Um, but it was really good. Um, one thing I would say is if you are a Mary Pickford fan or you know a bit about her, reading this like fictionalized version, you can kind of tell the parts that don't really mash up with the personality or feel a little forced, or if you're a huge classic film buff, you're, you can know the parts that she obviously made up because there's no other accounts of the certain periods in their life, which I had a bit of an issue with um, certain things. I felt like it was a little fo too formulaic at times, a little too forced. For example, there's this one part in the book right after Mary Mary's Douglas where her friend Fran um, is starting to notice her change a bit and the author is obviously trying to get across that Mary was changing to please Douglas because she feels like she has to fit into the wife role but literally or I think something along the lines of Fran kind of points this out and Mary tries to play it off and say oh you know men we have to cater to them our husbands and it felt a little forced, that scene. It felt a little like, she's changing because she got married automatically. And I felt that was very much for the book to get the message across, which I understand because as a writer, you have to get the message across. But it felt a little like, these are actual people. And that didn't seem like, from the biography of Mary Pickford, that didn't seem like something she would say bluntly like that and change automatically. Um, but I do understand. I would say to definitely give this a try if you're into classic Hollywood, female pioneers, or the 19-teens, 1920s era. If any of those interest you, this might be worth a check out at the library or a read. I thought it was well worth it. It took me a little bit to get in it, I'll admit, but I had a lot going on at the time. It's summer's beginning. I'm excited because of the weather. I'm not my nurse to do with it. But I'm so glad that I actually sat down and read this. So good job, Melanie Benjamin. You have a new fan. Thanks.